Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our sixth video, we'll help you understand all the information Google provides regarding your advertising campaign. In this video, I'll discuss how you can read and make sense of the information that Google gives you as it relates to your advertising campaign, specifically the campaign information, the ad group information, and even the information related to each unique ad. First of all, let me click on the Campaign Management tab and let's look at the highest level within your account. This is the highest level summary. It lists your campaign. As you can see, I have the Antique Tables and Antique Chairs campaign. And you can also see the current status of both campaigns is active. If you want to change how this looks, you can click here, and you can choose to show only active campaigns, all but deleted campaigns, or you can show all campaigns. We're showing all campaigns, which would also include any deleted or paused campaigns. But of course, at this time, I only have two active campaigns. Reviewing our current budget, it's a dollar a day for each one. This is the average maximum, in theory at least, that Google will allow you to spend. And when you reach that average daily limit each day, your ads would not show again until the following day. In theory, that's how it works. Now, we can click this drop-down box and view which period of time we want to use to view our statistics. We can choose Today. Click that, and you can see that the number of clicks displayed has gone down considerably, as you would expect. You can also choose Last 7 Days, or a number of other options. For right now, I'm going to leave it on All Time. Now note that you can also select very specific dates. For example, let's choose January 1, 2007. and look at it through December 31st, 2007. And you can see that the numbers are basically the same because I've only been running this campaign for the period from February 22nd to March 12th of 2007. Let's go back and choose All Time. Now let's talk through what these numbers mean. These are the statistics at a campaign level. So clicks over all time for the Antique Table Advertising Campaign has had five clicks total. The Antique Chairs Campaign has had zero clicks total. The Antique Tables has had a total of 223 impressions. An impression is an ad view. Every time your ad appears, whether someone clicks on it or not, that's an impression. The Antique Chairs campaign has had only two impressions. Now let's look at CTR, which stands for click-through rate. The higher the percentage, the better, because it means you're getting more traffic for the same, if not less, money. I say it that way, that you're getting more traffic for the same or less money, because of the way the Google algorithm works. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly how it works because Google keeps changing it and shrouding it in mystery. You can read their help pages to get more information, but at the most basic level, this isn't strictly accurate, but essentially the more times someone clicks on your ad, the less you have to pay per click. The amount you pay is a combination of the number of clicks and how much your maximum bid per click is. So if you get fewer clicks, you wind up paying more per click. You can look into this much more in depth in the Google Help pages, but even they won't tell you the whole story, so that's something you just need to be aware of. So, five clicks and 223 impressions, that's a click-through rate of 2.24%. And again, the higher the percent, the better. In our case, that comes to an average cost per click of five cents, to bring a total of 24 cents. For antique chairs, we have $1 a day for the current budget, zero clicks, two impressions, naturally a click-through rate of zero, 
and of course the cost then is zero. So the grand total is $2 a day daily budget for all our active campaigns, total clicks 5, total impressions 225, total click-through rates 2.22 percent, average cost per click is a nickel, and we've spent 24 cents in total. That's the campaign level statistics. Now let's drill down and click into the Antique Tables campaign. Now we're at the ad group level and again you can see that you can choose different viewing options for active groups, deleted groups, and so on. And also different time frames in which to view the information. In my example, I have one Antique Tables ad group. It's active. The default bid across all keywords is five cents. And the information you see here is basically the same as that at the campaign level because we only have one ad group. If we had multiple ad groups, then the information is broken down into listings for each ad group. So we have five clicks, 223 impressions, click-through rate, average cost per click, cost, and average position is 25.3, which means that generally speaking my ad will appear in the third page of the search results because there are usually about 10 results per page. If we do a quick search, I can give you an example. Let's actually search for antique tables. We'll go to Google and enter antique tables. And we see three ads at the top of the page. There aren't always ads at the top. Google does change things around fairly regularly. So anyway, one, two, three here, and along the side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So on this page, we get 11 results. Let's go to the next results page. And in this instance, you can see that there are no ads at the top. And on the side, we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're up to 19 here. But let's see what we find on the next page and see if we can find our ad. But looking through this page, we see that our ad doesn't appear. Okay, I did a search in Google specifically for our keyword phrase, Antique Table, and it said our ad should have appeared around position 23, which in this instance would be near the top of the third page. However, since it isn't appearing, I did a bit of detective work, and while I don't want to get ahead of myself and go into this in too much detail at this point, it's worth keeping in mind, look at campaign management tools, there's the Ad Diagnostic Tools, and I did an Ad Diagnostic on Antique Table, and the reason the tool gave for my ad not appearing, see, the following ads are not showing up for this keyword. Reason, your ad shares a similar display URL with a competing higher ranking ad. Basically, this is a feature that Google implemented for when there are multiple ads all pointing to the same site. You do need to be aware of this. It's something Google didn't used to have, but now that they've implemented it, it's caused headaches for a large number of people until they get used to it. So you do need to be aware that Google sometimes changes things, and sometimes those are sweeping changes. In this case, for us, it means that there are two advertisements bidding on the same keyword, and both are pointing to the same URL. So the higher ranking ad appears, and the lower ranking ad, which was mine, does not appear. Google just doesn't want multiple ads showing for the same keyword phrase pointing to the same site. In our example, that's probably the reason we're getting so few views and clicks. I'm competing directly with the actual owner of the site, you recall that we actually entered their URL when we signed up, and they're bidding far more for the ad. So theirs is appearing, and mine isn't. I don't want to dwell too much on this at the present time, 
but just be aware that the ADS diagnostic tool is something that can be very useful. In any case, in theory, I should have been appearing around position 23, which is generally on the third page. Let's go back to campaign summary and let's click through to Antique Tables Ad Group. Again, those are the main statistics for the Ad Group level. And if we click here, we go into the individual ad level. And there's my advertisement. And just to mention again, this is the URL that I'm competing directly with. I can demonstrate this quickly with another quick search. If I just type in antique table, let's see where they appear. And there they are. So they actually own the site I listed, and that's their actual ad. And since they're probably paying more, they're probably getting considerably higher click-through rates than I am. And their ad appears, and mine doesn't. So that's how it works if you get a duplicate destination URL of the same keywords. Now back to the account. There's my ad, and at the ad level, there's my keyword. I just have one antique table. It's active, the current maximum bid, maximum cost per click is five cents, Five clicks, impressions 219, click-through ratio of 2.28%, average cost per click is 5 cents, total cost 24 cents, and average position 25.6. Now here's an important point. Here it says content network total. Now the numbers here are the totals for the Google Sites and the Google Partner Sites. All the other sites where your ad may appear is this content network. And if you click right here, you get a definition. If you click here, where will my ads appear on the Google network, you'll get more information on exactly where those ads will appear. In any case, you can see how the statistics are broken out over those two sections the main Google search areas and main partner sites, and the content network, which includes the lesser sites that still display Google ads. And here we see enabled status, clicks zero, impressions only four, average position five. And our totals are here. Now before I discuss these tabs here, let's go back to Campaign Summary, click on Antique Tables, click Edit Settings, and we can confirm that the ads are showing in the Google Search, in the Search Network, which includes the main search partners, and the Content Network when users visit sites that match my ad on Google's content network, which could well be hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of lesser trafficked sites than the actual search partners. Okay, let's click back through Antique Table. Antique Table Ad Group. And here are the other tabs. You can click on the Summary tab and you can get a summary of exactly what's happening at the ad level. If you want to get keyword specific, click on Keywords, and you get the summary for the keywords, although in this instance I just have one. Click on Ad Variations to show how many different types of ads you have. You can include multiple advertisements if you want, and the system will give you statistics for each ad. 
That's an in-depth look at a running campaign with live ads and keywords and how the information is displayed and how to read through and understand that information.